Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and in this video we're going to talk about oral pathology and specifically pre-malignant mucosal lesions. So patients with any of the following lesions that we talk about are at some risk for developing uh, cancer, specifically squamous cell carcinoma, which we'll talk about when we talk about malignant lesions. So the first thing we want to talk about is leukoplakia, which is a white patch but most notably, it's a clinical description, not a diagnosis. So this is something when we, we see a white patch and we don't know what caused it, we can call it leukoplakia, but as soon as we can identify an etiology, we would call it by its diagnosis, we would no longer refer to it as leukoplakia, which means we'd be unsure about it. So leukoplakia, like I said, is a white patch that does not rub off. So as compared to say, pseudomembranous candidiasis, which we talked about when we talked about fungal infections, is a white patch that does wipe off. So this one does not. And the treatment would be a mandatory biopsy because we don't know what's causing it. So we could uh, figure that out when we look under the microscope and analyze the histology. Next, we have proliferative verrucous leukoplakia. So still a leukoplakia because it's this white lesion but now we have a little bit more of a um, descriptor here. Proliferative, meaning that it's spreading, um, and verrucous, which is uh, referring to the warty nature of this lesion. So it's recurrent, it's warty, and it may be associated with HPV strains 16 and 18. So this is a, another good time to review. Um, we already talked about HPV 6 and 11, with condyloma acuminatum. We talked about HPV 13 and 32 with focal epithelial hyperplasia, or FEH. And now we're talking about 16 and 18, and that's with reference to PVL. You may find interesting 16 and 18 are also the two highest risk HPV strains for developing cervical cancer. So they're high risk, dangerous strains of HPV. Um, and it also has high risk of malignant transformation to squamous cell carcinoma, SCC, or verrucous carcinoma. And we'll talk about both of these in the next video. Next, we have erythroplakia, which is a red patch. So erythro meaning red, leuco meaning white. Again, same deal. It's a clinical description, not a diagnosis. This has higher risk than leukoplakia of a malignant transformation, and even a higher risk is erythroleukoplakia, which is both a white and red mixed lesion. Again, because we don't know what's causing it, treatment, we need to take a biopsy to figure this out. Maybe it's just uh, benign, or maybe there's something else going on. Next we have actinic colitis. Actinic is always referring to solar, some sun damage, and colitis, we've already seen before, is referring to lip inflammation. So this is due to sun damage, um, UVB rays especially. Now just remember B is for bad. So there's UVA, UVB, UVC, and this is the bad type that's causing actinic colitis. And next we have smokeless tobacco associated lesion. So super long name, it's not a mystery what's causing this. It's a white mucosal change in the vestibule due to direct effects of smokeless tobacco and the additives found in that material. So you can see kind of this wrinkly whitish appearance and it's mostly would be seen in the vestibule because this is where chewing tobacco um, is mostly held in the mouth. And that's actually it for this uh, video, guys. Pretty short. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more oral pathology and other things dentistry. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.